Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the brand new 2017 Aerolite 2320BHSL. It's a great bunkhouse floor plan with an outside kitchen and it's under 5,000 pounds. Let's go ahead and start right up front here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. It does come with the power tongue jacks. This makes it really easy to connect and disconnect from the vehicle. You just have to touch a button to raise and lower the tongue. And then you also have a light out here, which gives you some added visibility at night. Propane tank cover. To uh, access the tanks, you just undo these two thumb screws. You can lift up the door right here, and that will give you access to your two 20 pound tanks. Then behind that, you'll see rails for your battery box. Coming up the front here is black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way, hopefully it hits the diamond plating here and doesn't beat up your beautiful front end. Come around to the side, we'll look at the pass through. You'll notice it does have a covered hinge here so you won't have rust coming down the door. Slam latch baggage doors as well and magnetic. So you just put it up and forget it. Go ahead and take a look right in here. You will see large pass-through storage, LED light strip all the way across too. Uh, so that way you can see what, anything in there at night. And you can also see the aluminum framing that this unit uses. Uh, it does have a six-sided aluminum cage on this truck camp or on this uh, travel trailer. You'll see the power awning right there. Just touch a button that rolls out. Same thing to go back in. And it has an LED light strip there at night so you don't have to get up and hang up your own Christmas lights. Getting into the coach is very easy with three steps and an easy grab handle right here. That way you ensure you have a, a solid step from the first step all the way into the coach. This unit does have the all seasons package on there, so you do have an enclosed and heated underbelly as well. As long as the furnace is running, it will stay nice and warm down below too. Right here you have connections for an outside TV. The TV inside, your main TV actually comes out. You can bring it right outside, put it here in this mount, plug it in here, and then you have your cable outlet right there as well. So that way you can go ahead, set up some chairs here underneath the awning and watch TV. If you want to listen to some music, that's not an issue either. You can see your two outside speakers right there. Those are connected to your multimedia center inside, but it is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can sit out here and listen to your music, control it right from that smart device. You'll see the aluminum rims on there, so less chance for rust or corrosion. And then you also have nitrogen filled tires, which will give you more even tire wear. Right here in the back is your outside kitchen. Again, this is also magnetic. Uh, this is pretty cool. You see you have a plumbed sink right here. Your fridge right next to that. So you do have um, you know, space for all your condiments, beverages, everything else right there for you. And you also see you have an electrical outlet there too, as well as a light up top. Then when you come around to the back, right here is a mount for your grill and cooktop. Uh, it comes uh, with a Coleman grill slash cooktop combo. So you can go ahead and take that out, set it up right here. It's on a swing arm mount, so you can swing it right around, have a beverage, go ahead and cook right outside. Spare tire on the back here, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's always nice knowing that it's right there for you. And as you come around to the uh, off door side here, a couple quick things. You'll see all your connections are basically right here. Uh, LED light here as well, so you can see at night. And then 30 amp outlet right there. I'm sorry, this is halogen. I said LED, I apologize. Um, you have your cable inlet, your city connection, or city water rather. This is your black tank flush. So if you're not familiar with that, what this does is basically the black tank has sprayers built in. So when you're done camping, just take a hose, screw it in right here, and it will go ahead and wash your black tank out for you. And then you also have your outside spray port there as well. All right, folks, pretty much wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside, the 2017 Aerolite 2320BH. Let's start right over here on the kitchen. So as soon as you walk in the door, you see you have these three drawers right here, full extension ball bearing drawers. And I like that this is here. This is pretty great because things you need to grab often, especially if you're someone that likes to eat outside, you can put you know silverware in here or whatever, just grab it and head right out, which is pretty darn cool. Double bowl sink here as well, high rise faucet there, makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. Of course, you have a window right here so you can see out uh, right out to your campsite while, while you're washing dishes here, which is nice. LED light underneath. In fact, you have LED lights on the ceiling throughout the whole coach. 
Uh, that's a big deal if you plan on doing some boondocking where you don't have shore power because LED lights use a fraction of the power that your standard incandescents do. Right up above that, you see some pantry storage there. Our microwave right next to that. Stainless steel hood with a light and fan beneath it. Three burner Atwood cooktop here. The front one is high output. And you have an oven underneath if you wanna do some baking. And take a look underneath the kitchen sink here. Great storage there, plenty of room for a trash can. Then you have this little cutout right up here, up top too. So if you wanna put some spices or something up there, you can certainly do that. Norcold fridge freezer combo. You can see you have plenty of space in there as well. Uh, I personally like Norcold. It's made right here in the US. Uh, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Now this is a bunk unit, so you can see right back here the two bunks, Teddy Bear Bunk Series, so they're nice and soft. Um, this is kind of unique because of the bed size. It's not quite a single, it's bigger than a single, but a little bit smaller than a double. And uh, the thing I like about that is if you have uh, bigger kids, some older kids, there's still plenty of room for them to go ahead and fit on either bunk. And especially when you have the 300 pound capacity that these bunks have. You can also see you have a window both top and bottom, a light here as well, and a curtain you can close off for some privacy. Right in the back here is the bathroom. You'll see right down below is the foot flush lever toilet. In front of that is the tub shower. Uh, you will notice you have some shelving there as well as a hand wand. Big skylight here up top. You can also see a vent so you can get out any moisture. Beneath that is the mirrored medicine cabinet, storage behind that, sink top and vanity. You have storage underneath the sink. And then right over here above the toilet, you have a linen closet. So great room right here, plenty of room for uh, towels, anything else that you're going to need. Then right outside the bathroom, you can take a look right here, see you have excellent pantry space there. Um, or if you want, you can use it for kids' clothes. If you have folded clothes, you can put them there. Just a versatile space uh, that you can you know, kind of customize to what you want. Large slide out here with the big U dinette, which is nice. Uh, by large, I mean it's deep. You know, it's not a shallow slide like a lot of the lightweight units as this one is. When you start to get under that 5,000 pound range, a lot of them are shallow. This is a nice deep slide here. But you can see the U-shaped dinette, which is great for a bunkhouse, so you can sit the whole family around it. If you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, you do have an electrical outlet right down there, so you can do so. And then if you need to sleep additional guests, the table does drop down into a bed. You just remove these legs here from the flanges in both the floor and the tabletop. The table will then sit along these rails. Then you can use the cushions to go ahead and fill this in and create that extra bed space. Windows all the way around too, so it is nice and bright in here. And speaking of brightness, you can also see you have a big skylight there too, kind of above the kitchen, which also helps brighten the coach up during the day. The entertainment center here is pretty cool. I like the auxiliary lighting. You can see they have some lighting behind the TV as well as down underneath. Um, the thing I like about having lighting behind the TV is not only does that uh, give it a nice aesthetic, but also helps your eyes a little bit. If you are watching TV at night, they say that having that uh, back lighting is a little bit easier on the eyes. TV right here. This is the TV I mentioned that you can take out. You can take this right outside. Uh, it is on a swing arm mount, but if you want to remove it, it comes off the mount and the TV goes right out. That way you can watch TV outside as well. Multimedia center right here. Um, this is your radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can go ahead and pop it in here. As I mentioned, we were outside. This is Bluetooth capable. This controls the speakers out there as well as the ones in here. And then right underneath, you can see storage there. Plenty of room. If you have a huge DVD collection, you certainly have room here. Uh, or, you know, whatever else you want to put in there. If you want to put in some, you know, hats and scarves, if you go camping uh, in the fall, you can go ahead and put those there as well. Let's take a step into the bedroom. You will see you do have uh, actual slider doors on here. It's not a curtain, which is very nice for privacy. Uh, so I do like that queen size bed here and good storage underneath. I'll go ahead and lift that up. Right there is your Coleman uh, camp grill stove that I talked about. That's what attaches right on the back of the camper. I like the bedspread on here too. I think it's a nice color combo. You can see up top some LED reading lights. You have mirrored wardrobes here on the side. Uh, you will notice that you have the shelf up top as well as a hanging rod there right underneath. 
additional storage up top along the top of the bed right here. Then if you take a look at the ceiling, you see you have a vent right there, ducted AC in this coach as well. Uh, you have the Razor, or WineGuard Razar antenna there for your TV, and you have another TV uh, hookup right there, so if you do want a TV in the bedroom, you can certainly have that as well. Last thing I want to talk about, right underneath, you will notice you have electrical outlet as well as a couple of USB ports. So if you do need to charge any electronics or if you have a CPAP machine you can see, that you sleep with, you can go ahead and sleep on either side of the bed. But okay folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the brand new 2017 Aerolite 2320BH. If you're looking for a bunk model that you want some of the you know nicer amenities but you want it to be under 5,000 pounds you need the outside kitchen bigger bunks you want to slide on your camper this is one you don't want to pass up if you are interested and you'd like price and availability you can either give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV or you can always take a look at our website which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information also if you enjoyed this walkthrough be sure to join our YouTube channel that way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV thanks again for watching I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom <music>